It was great. And and Gareth's so right there because listening to it and, and watching what happened um, in the summer, I think for the first time in a long time, well, I don't know if it was the first time in a long time, but certainly you go through campaigns with England in particular and uh, you look at the, the nation getting behind the team and you look at the nation getting gripped in a tournament. That was certainly case, the case in the summer. And there's absolutely no doubt about it. Gareth's spot on. There is a real, you can see a real bond between the fans and the team. They're loving the team. They love the players and fair play. The, uh, yeah, I, I long may it continue and I think it will continue for the foreseeable future. I look at that England squad and I think the, the, the England fans are absolutely well within their rights to be excited by it. Can we talk about Jude Bellingham? He's magic, that guy. Isn't he magic? Isn't he? Um, watch the highlights. He, he, he looked terrific. It's a kind of it's a difficult game to gauge, would you really? You know what I mean? Because in many ways, the, the England boys are on a hide into nothing, you know, but mm. sitting at one nothing and you know, listening to Pierce saying the boys, it's they're saying you know, you know, playing okay should be three or four, and then all of a sudden it is three or four. Okay, I, I thought it might be six or seven. You know, it's one of those kind of games. It's a little bit unfair. It really is. So you can just look at it and you can only comment on what you see. And I thought there was some good individual performances from what I saw in the highlights. And Bellingham, it's great. I mean, another one that. You know, really exciting talent. Probably a little bit under the radar in the respect that he's not a Grealish, he's not a Ford, and he's not one of these guys. Mount, but at the same time, what a talent! Did Damn you me. did you see? You might not have. I'm not sure if they put it in the highlights or not. But basically, there's a, a, a moment where he he beat three Andorra players. Um, he gets sort of dropped to his knees. He gets yeah. up, still manages to win the ball off them, nutmegs someone, and then and then carries on. And and I, he's just so strong and so confident. Um, at the age that he is, Ali, you just think he's going to be a monster, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That, that, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I, and I said it before the Euros, you look at that England squad, and I, I can't remember, honestly, God, which I can't remember a, a, a squad as strong, you know, with great depth yeah. that Gareth has got at this moment in time, and, and, barely, and, 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 and a lot of them of a very, very good age with the majority of their international career ahead of them. So, no, Bellingham's a player, he really is, you know, and you talk about Sancho, you, as I say, you talk about Grealish is, is coming on again, you know, you, you, they're, they're now beginning to look to Grealish, whereas we were talking beforehand about, you know, Gareth should give him more t- game time, he should be on the side, it was all different opinions, I think England are now beginning to look to him to do something to go and win a game to create something and he won't disappoint I well, don't he, think for a minute he'll disappoint yeah Grealish off the, be- off the bench yesterday had a hand in two of those goals for sure mm-hmm. um, also Patrick Bamford it was his birthday as well yesterday yeah. happy birthday got his England debut um, when he got subbed off obviously Harry Kane came on scored the penalty and it cut to him in the crowd and obviously really smiling that was smiling. a bit harsh wasn't uh, it yeah I thought so as well because I thought oh you're yeah. rubbing it in a little bit there but obviously uh, as always really smiling and supportive um, well, these kind of debut games as well as, as you're saying Ali it's difficult to gauge a lot of things from that but how did you feel that he did he, he didn't get his goal he did fine he, he yeah. did absolutely fine listen he warranted and deserved it <clears throat> in my opinion was his opportunity um, listen, being an ex centre forward, uh, I probably know how he feels. There'll be a, uh, there'll be a tinge of disappointment that he didn't score. You know, particularly against a team like Andorra. You th- you know, he, he, he went into that game thinking, "Wow, well, I've deserved my opportunity. I've got my opportunity." You know, I, I want to get a couple of goals. I can sell a goal or a couple of goals here. He didn't get it, but at the same time, you know. Absolutely fine, not a problem. As I say, he's warranted the selection. And Gareth, you know, you heard him speak after the game there about his performance. He'd be pleased with his performance. But if you're going to be honest, he w- I don't care what he says, there will be a little bit of disappointment that uh, he didn't score. Mm, definitely. Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold, let's discuss him because he started in midfield and there have been some calls actually yeah. for that to happen. Um, I think it was Jamie Carragher that came out and said um, you, you get much more of the ball um, when you're playing it right back if you're Trent Alexander-Arnold and, and, and the, the way that he can pass the ball and, and what he does, he's more utilised in that position. Yeah. What did you make of him in midfield because he was switched I, halfway, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, I think that's a fair comment from from Jamie Carragher. When you, when, when, from Jamie, when... You know, obviously, Reese James playing that position, but the, the, because when you get the ball, everything's in front of you, would you? The game's entirely in front of you in that position, so you can see it, you can get the ball, you can look up. 
Whereas if you're one up, you, you know the, the game going behind you, in front of you. There's, there's more going on around you. Whereas you know he's normal or more accustomed position. Um, he can see the whole picture from that right back position. Mm. But he's fine. I mean, absolutely not a problem in playing there. He, he's a he's a great player, tr- tremendous player um, going forward. And uh, as I'm saying, I'm just looking at that, looking at the team. You know, as I say, Rhys James, I've mentioned. I mean, it's a pro- proper side. The, the right, if you're looking at the right, <coughs> Rhys James. Trent Alexander Arnold, Jesse Lingard. Lingard's another one. Absolutely delighted for. And I'm really in- interested and intrigued to see what happens with Jesse Lingard moving forward. Because I want to see him play. You know, I really mm-hmm. want to see him get a lot more game time um at United and I hope that's the case. Obviously the signing of Ronaldo is fantastic for us. Um fantastic for United. But um we saw what uh, Jesse Lingard is capable of you know, when he went down to when he moved down to London for <clears throat> for last season. Brilliant performances. Um, took West Ham, helped take West Ham to another level. And I want to see him play. I, I, it's really important for Jesse Lingard that he gets a lot of game time next day this year. And I, I, and I don't see any reason why he shouldn't. Of course, the, 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 the signing of Ronaldo put a question mark over that. But he's got to play. One weird moment um, you might not have seen. <coughs> Kieran Trippier was in the tunnel and he swapped shorts with one of the Andorra players um, and then a shirt with the other one. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I didn't see that. Literally stripped down to his tighty whities swapped shorts with um, one of the players and then <laughs> and then a shirt with another. It was really interesting. I've genuinely never seen that before. Have you ever swapped shirt, uh, shorts with someone, Nelly? No. No? No. Be- no. To be fair, back in the day, maybe three or four of the defenders I was playing against could get into my shorts. <laughs> so... so. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.